Hey, what's happening guys? Got a little kit we're gonna build here today. This is a little self-scanning FM radio kit. And before you run off saying, I've seen you build kits before. I hear you. And I hear what you guys say and the suggestions you make, so we're gonna do things a little differently. I'm gonna build the kit up. And I'll do a speed build, you know. You've, you've seen me solder enough times. Then we'll big clive it. We will reverse engineer it and talk about the circuitry. What do you guys say to that? Sorry about that, had a train cooting its way through town, so had to wait a minute. Let's see what we get here. You guys hear anything? Hear static? Turn the volume up. And then we'll see what we get. We'll hit the seek up. Probably only one station we're going to pick up in the area, and I'm not going to play it for too long because I don't want to get demonetized. I don't know why it went by it. I seek down. That's weird. Okay. Now that we know it works, let's talk about how it works. Um, I mean, everything is done in this chip, which is the hex three six five three. Um, Let's go over to the computer, and what I'll do is I'll take a picture of the front, and then I'll take a picture of the back. We'll trace out the tracks, superimpose them, and we should be able to get an idea of how the circuit works. Okay, let's start with, there's the picture of the front, and there's the picture of the back. This is Photoshop. I've used the line tool here to trace out all of these tracks in red on a new layer. So if we go layer, we'll rasterize the layer. Now all of our tracks are beautiful. We'll select and select similar. And then we'll copy that. We'll come over to this side, pardon me. Okay, sorry about that. We've got everything pretty well in place now. So we can see the blue tracks for the top layer and the red tracks are the bottom layer. We can see where they each go. And now it's just a simple matter of uh, tracing out the circuit. I'm going to go ahead and trace out the top tracks on here in blue so that we have a better look. Hang on while I do that. Yeah, okay, I went with green because I didn't think when I said blue and the uh, circuit board is blue, so that would not have been very visible, would it? Alright, so now we have basically the whole thing laid out and we can draw out the circuit, which might be a little bit convoluted. So I will do that off camera 
and then we'll come back to it. This may take me a while. Not my strong suit. <laughs> Alright, like I said, the magic is all in the chip, so unfortunately, we're not going to learn anything about how an FM radio actually works, but I, mean, I can tell you how this circuit works. So here's our, our, our chip, the hex was 3653. I can't find a data sheet for it anywhere. But the pinout, as far as I can tell, is power switch, ground, ground. These aren't connected here. That's a mistake. <laughs> as is that's not connected to ground there either FM in ground ground seek up seek down volume up volume down ground left and right out ground ground or ground PCC and clock so it's mostly a lot of grounds I mean there's one two three four five so anytime you're dealing with RF frequencies you want to have a good strong ground plane okay so we have this header over here and our antenna is attached to one point of it and these are just net ports over here to make things easier. So our signal coming in through the antenna is going to go through this little thing here. We have the inductor and then we have a capacitor. That along with the clock is going to create a timing circuit. We have these two diodes which are acting as a rectifier to rectify the signal coming in and they are simply going to that FM in and then this side is of course going to ground so the discrimination and the frequency selection is all done within this chip we have seek up and seek down which are uh, normally high and when we ground them it works the same we have volume up and volume down which when we ground them activates another switch then over here on our out I believe this is the right out we go into this little circuit here and then we have the left out which comes in here and it simply act all, all this circuit is doing right here is activating the LED right there when everything is in place there's not really a lot going on we have a couple of hundred microfarad DC blocking capacitors so that we don't get any DC here on this is like our right this is our left and then this is the sleeve sleeve again comes back here going to ground truly not much going on but it is you know it is a neat little circuit I wish I could have found a data sheet for that 3653 chip because it is a it is an interesting little chip now one do, one thing that we do need to mention here oh, pardon me and I'm gonna zoom in we've got this little header marked ASW here okay so the way that works is we have four pins here and that refers to this four pin header here okay so if we look at this pin one goes to our external antenna pin two goes to this little circuit here pin three is a ground and pin four is a ground so basically what's happening here is if we put this jumper on pins one and two what we're doing is we're taking the antenna signal and we are passing it through our little FM detector circuit right here and into the FM in in the chip however if we put it over here on pins three and four what we're doing then is we are picking up where's it at the sleeve or the ground from our external headphone cord where's it at right here so then this entire thing becomes the antenna so all this basically is is an antenna switch now in in position three and four you're basically grounding the antenna so that's not going to do much but if you put it in position two and three what's going to happen here is this the signal being brought in from this long cord up here in pin two is or pin three is going to go to pin two which is going to go through our FM detector circuit and into there so this was a fun little kit to build 
didn't take that long, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes. Probably half of that was doing the uh, surface mount chip. Eh, my soldering's not bad. Not, not beautiful, not ugly. It suffices. But I enjoyed building this, and this kit was sent in by our good friend, Dr. Quincy. So thanks, Dr. Quincy. We had fun building this, and I hope you guys got an idea of how this circuit works, not particularly how an FM circuit works, because, well, it's all done in that chip, and we don't know anything about the chip. So, that's about all I have to say about that. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Dr. Quincy down in the heart of Texas. That's it. I'm out. Peace.